guys, I'm Evan Espet, a Supreme of Rugby player. You're watching Gareth Mason on Walking Tour with G-Man. What's up guys and welcome back to another video. Today's video is just a congratulations video to England who are the new Cricket World Cup champions and probably one of the greatest cricket games I have ever witnessed. So much intensity and really it's a game where you, you really couldn't pick a loser because it was just so equally balanced. Um, the performance from New Zealand was truly, truly amazing. They fought well. When they put on that total, I wasn't convinced. I thought, it's a bit low, but hey, it's a World Cup. Anything can happen. And um, the intensity shown from the bowling part of New Zealand was truly excellent. I mean, they came back very well to have gotten to where they were. Heartbreak when um, that ball hit um, Ben Stokes. But he, imme he immediately apologized. And I mean... Um, it, it's one of those things you can't really predict it, um, but um, he clearly wasn't going for the ball. It was just bad luck at the end of the day, and that unfortunately cost. It uh, was a big moment, I mean, six runs. Um, so, yeah, but at the end of the day, the man who Stokes is a true remarkable cricketer and deserves to play of the tournament. I think he got man of the match, and he was truly remarkable. He's held his own every single innings. He's really played strong. He's stood out there for England and um, he's a true um, hero for the English cricket team and he's done the team wonders. What an intense game. I mean, first ever final for a super over, six balls to each team. And um, when England put 16 on the total, I thought, oof, that is high, that is high, that's going to be tough. But um, then um, Nisham clapped those balls, got the six, and I thought, hey, we could have a game here. We could see New Zealand make history and win the World Cup. But um, it just wasn't meant to be. England held their own. And I mean, um, they were brilliant. Two runs of the last ball and, uh, you know, a draw wins it for England because obviously they were high on the log. And um, a truly remarkable game of, of, of cricket. And what a way to end it. I mean, cheapest sport was amazing today. The Wimbledon final was intense. How oh, gutted Federer didn't win. But amazing game. Then you've got this Cricket World Cup. You're flicking between channels. I couldn't sit still. I couldn't sit still. I was running up and down. Or standing up and down. Pacing in the room. It was just intense. But all I can say is congratulations to England. Congratulations to Owen Morgan. I think he's a fine captain. A fine leader. A fine Irishman playing in England. Which is also quite funny. But a true, true, true star quality cricketer. Uh, probably one of my favourite um, cricketers. I mean, I'm not... A supporter of England cricket, um, obviously South Africa through and through, but um, sure, did they prove the critics wrong? Um, and where better to win than at your home venue? First time ever uh, that England won the Cricket World Cup. Does that mean we could see the Northern Hemisphere team win the Rugby World Cup? Which means could be could England win too? Uh, but yeah, anything can happen. I, I really thought New Zealand could maybe do this and um, take it on, but um, it was England's game. It was England's World Cup. They had their bumps, they had their ups and downs, um, where there were games that were, that were close. Obviously, South Africa and England opening it up. South Africa could have also had their moments, but they just it wasn't the year for South African cricket. It was shocking. Australia, I think, could also hold their heads up high with all the controversy that happened a year ago um, in order to have achieved what they achieved. Um, and the Cricket World Cup is truly outstanding and special. And um, I, I congratulate them. I congratulate uh, Bangladesh for playing hard. Um, man, they, their hearts are so strong. And that they played an amazing uh, Cricket World Cup. Truly special. Pakistan had their moments. Um, it was just it was just great. And um, yeah, hard luck to New Zealand. I mean, that's going to be hurting for a while. Two World Cup final losses. And um, I think this one will hurt more because it was so close. But um, cheap as they can be proud of themselves of where they've gotten, how far they came and how, how well they played. Kane Williamson, take a bow to my friend. You are a true leader. Um, I love the respect and sportsmanship you throw uh, or you perform in every game. It's truly remarkable and inspiring for youngsters. Your patience within innings is, is fantastic. But um, Bursto, great innings too from him. Roy Root, I mean, the, the, the R's were just unbelievable. Morgan, as I said, Jeffrey Archer, the West Indian, um, also, what an intense over. I mean, when he started getting clapped, you could see the emotion on his face. He was losing it a bit, but he held his own and bowled a cracking ball 
to get that just that one um, to to help England draw the game and then obviously win the World Cup due to the position on the locks. So once again, congratulations, England. Well done on winning the Cricket World Cup. And um, yeah, next stop, Rugby World Cup. It's a great year for sport and I can't wait to see what happens. Congratulations, England. Celebrate hard. You guys deserve to be champions. Well done. Stay safe and never give up. Cheers. Make sure you subscribe to his channel for all rapid content. Stay safe and never give up.